Hola estudiantes! Welcome to another semester of Spanish 2. Hopefully you have a vocabulary list, 3A, and we're going to go through and just have you fill in all of the English definitions. Here we go! Okay kids, so we're going to talk about places in a community. Let's start with where we keep the dinero, el banco. That's the bank. El centro is the center or downtown. Es el centro de Denver. El consultorio, that's where you go when you're not feeling well. El consultorio is the doctor's office or the dentist's office. Think of it as getting a consult you're from a doctor. La estación de servicio or las estaciones de servicio is a service station. We call them gas stations. Same thing. La farmacia, that's the pharmacy. Supermercado es donde compra, compro comida. El buzón o los buzones. That's the mailbox, or the mailboxes. What do I put in a mailbox? Well, I put a carta. Yo recibí una carta de mi abuela. Echar una carta, that's to mail a letter. El señor echa una carta en el buzón. Do people do that anymore? Not so much. El correo is a post office, or mail in general also. Enviar. That's to send. La señora envía una carta. And notice that it says that the I goes to an I with an accent. So when you conjugate it, you have to put an accent on the I. El sello is a stamp. Yo uso un sello para echar una carta. La tarjeta, that's a card. Yo mando una tarjeta a mi mamá para su cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños, mamá. El equipo deportivo, that's sporting equipment. So we're going to talk about tennis and um, sports and basketball and items in a sporting goods store. El palo de golf is a golf club, a stick of golf, literally. <laughs> los patines, those are skates. Uso los patines para jugar al hockey. La pelota, that is a ball. That would be a really cool ball. <laughs> that is. I've seen those, I've never gone in one. La raqueta de tenis is a tennis racket. Uso la raqueta de tenis para jugar al tenis. El cepillo de dientes. Oh, that's funny. Now we've moved right into pharmacy products. That's a toothbrush. Uso un cepillo de dientes para cepillarme los dientes. Don't forget those reflexive verbs from last semester. El champú is shampoo. That's a tough one. Yo uso el champú para lavar mi pelo. Me lavo el pelo. El jabón. That is soap. And kids, sopa is not soap. Sopa is soup. So be careful when you go to the farmacia. Yes. Or when you go to a restaurant. If yes. You want, if you really want soup, please don't order jabón. <laughs> pasta dental is toothpaste. Uso la pasta de dental con mi cepillo de dientes para cepillarme los dientes. Wow, that was a long sentence. That was. A lot of vocab there. Nice work. Okay, kids. Now we're going to talk about our favorite things. We're going to talk about errands. Cerrar. That's to close. Uh, la tienda cierra a las seis. Notice that is an E to I E stem changer. In the present tense. In the preterite, it is not. Cobrar un cheque is to cash a check. Voy al banco para cobrar un cheque de mi abuela. Cuidar a, to take care of. Some of you do that as a job. La chica cuida a los niños. So that's to take care of or to babysit. Yep. El dentista or la dentista, notice they both end with ta, even if it is a male dentist, is a dentist. That photo kind of freaks me yeah. out. Yeah, makes me feel like Matt the dentist. Yes. Devolver, that is to return a book, for example. Yo devuelvo el libro en la biblioteca. It's a stem changer, O-T-U-E. And remember, volver means to return to a place, and devolver means to return an item. Gasolina. Yo uso la gasolina en mi carro. That's pretty easy, Connie. Yeah, it is. Okay, we're going to talk about errands a little bit more. Ir a pie, that's to walk. Los señores van a pie uh, en el centro. They're, uh, they're walking on foot in the, in the downtown area. I like that guy's shoes. <laughs> Llenar el tanque. Llenar means just to fill in general, and el tanque is a tank. So yo voy a llenar el tanque con gasolina. El médico. La médica is the doctor. Este señor es el médico. Sacar un libro. To take out or check out a book. Yo voy a sacar tres libros de la biblioteca. 
Se abre. It opens. La tienda se abre a las nueve de la mañana. Y se cierra a las diez de la noche. It is closed. So those are talking in general like it is open or it, it closes without talking specifically about who does it. Okay, kids, here are some other useful words and expressions. Caramba! Good gracious! That's about the closest translation as the book could come up with. And if you saw Bart Simpson, always used. Ay, caramba! Casi. Almost. Como no! Of course! Even though it has the word no in it, it's an affirmative it's thing positive. saying I'll do it. That's silly. Enseguida. Right away. Let's do that. Enseguida. Hasta... Until. Hasta la vista, baby. Por. Oh, that means a lot of different things, but we use it with time to mean for, to say how long something has been happening. Yo hago ejercicio por una hora. I exercise for an hour. Pronto. Soon. Pronto. Hasta pronto means see you soon. So we're putting literally until soon together to mean see you soon. Quedarse, that is to stay. Quédate a mi lado por toda la vida. Stay by my side for all of my life. That is so darn cute. Oh. Mira los gatitos. Dándoles un abrazo. Qué bonito. Oh. Todavía, still. Like, we're still doing that. Okay, barrios o barrias, various or several. Yo tengo barrios libros de Gabriel García Márquez. Ooh, no I know, stuff. I'm getting a little advanced. Sorry, kids. Se me olvidó. I forgot we were in Espanol 2. Oh, yes, <laughs> that's what happened. I like the fact that in Spanish, things forget themselves to you. You are not responsible. It forgot itself of me. Se that's me a olvidó. good thing. Se me olvidó. I like that's that. That's what you can say when I said, do you have your homework? Se me olvidó. It forgot itself of me. Gracias. Adios.